Hey! Yeah, I didn't see you there. Sorry. You look very nice. Um, I have to get to the launch party early. Everything okay? I think I found out how Pearson got Jack. How? Through a nonprofit organization. Nonprofit, like a charity. Well, in this case, a private charity. Who then gave his placement to a for-profit foster care company called Arbiter. How it works is, is most counties will only allow for a certain limited number of foster care contracts to go to for-profit companies. So how a company like Arbiter gets around it is that they create non-profit companies who get the contracts, and then they turn around and hire Arbiter to place and care for the kid and get the money. It sounds like a total scam. Yeah, and apparently it's legal. But the worst part is that Arbiter is a multi-million dollar company that is traded on the New York Stock Exchange every day. So you can buy stock in foster care? And uh, with shareholders to answer to, there's a great deal of pressure to be profitable. So can we sue them? I suppose we could, but um, you know, companies like that, they, they have insurance against liability. And what about the CEOs? CEOs are a protected class. When the banks went under, not a single CEO that was responsible for all of that fraud went to jail, not a single one. Unfortunately, Callie, aside from Pearson, I don't think we're going to be able to hold one person responsible for what happened to Jack.